My wife has been diagnosed with cancer. But she didn't tell me. Am I wrong to be upset? My parents were well off and worked hard. But they were neglectful towards me. By the time I was 10, they decided I didn't need a nanny anymore. And then I didn't have parental figures. They spent all of their time and energy at work and didn't have time for me at all. When I met my wife, she was a vibrant, intelligent, and caring woman. She would give you the shirt off her back. We spent hours and hours together talking about everything and anything. But it slowly slowed down. She would come home from work, crawl immediately into bed, and watch TikToks for the next three hours. She wouldn't engage, would barely do anything, and only did chores sometimes and ended up paying for someone to do her share. She would always say she's tired, and then stay up all night sometimes or sleep for 18 hours. It was awful to see her glued to her phone or her computer instead of engaging with me. I asked for separation. It was really hard because she cried and begged me not to, and I still loved her, but being with her was like a flashback to my parents. We both knew that separations basically always end in divorce. An old friend of my wife's recently reached out to me and cussed me out. She told me that my wife had cancer, and how dare I leave her during a tough time. I had no idea she had cancer. I asked my wife why she hid it from me. And she said that I was divorcing her, and she didn't want to guilt trip me into staying or be manipulative. I asked her how long she had known. She found out three weeks after we separated. I told her she should have told me. I had noticed her hair seemed thinner, and she just seemed frailer overall, but she brushed it off as stressed. Honestly, I'm really upset that she didn't tell me. Do I have a right to be, Ada? Edit. Only now did her hair start to thin, and she looked weak. She looked obviously ill. For three years before that, she wouldn't get out of bed, and would instead sleep through the weekend and stay up on weekdays. I did all of these chores, but she felt guilty and hired a housekeeper for cleaning. I did all of the cooking. What I saw was a profound disinterest in me. She didn't want to do anything with me. She wouldn't go on a walk with me. She wouldn't go out. She wouldn't read a book. She'd just lie in bed watching TikToks. Her daily screen time was 14-16 hours. I made doctor appointments, I cooked food, and I tried to get her up. At some point, she just wouldn't even entertain going to the doctor. After years of her telling me that there was nothing wrong with her, doctors saying she was lazy, blood tests showing no issues, and her still lying in bed, I was tired. If we had known that her body was shutting down, of course I wouldn't have left. I just wish she actually went to the appointments I had set up before I asked for a separation. I am going to help her any way I can. Comments. Which off the east. Info. How long after marriage did this change happen? How long was she in this fatigued state before you pulled the pluck? OP. She was like this for three years before we separated. We had been married for a year before that. Eric Dertavans. NTA for separating. You're going to be looked at as the honor because of the circumstances and separation regardless. And you can't change things by beating yourself up with the what ifs. Just end things amicably and move on with your life. One Confidence 16858. Ida. You're separated. Heading for divorce. You couldn't handle her when all she did was sleep. You really think you'd stick around with a cancer diagnosis? No don't truce like that. How is he the arsehole? People are allowed to leave unhappy relationships. Brave Anonymous 1. He is in awe because he is blaming her for everything. For him leaving. For her not telling him about her diagnosis. For her friend calling him and hurting his feelings. He is in awe because he neglected his obviously sick wife and left because she didn't show any interest in him and reminded him of his parents. He is in awe to pretend to be offended that sick woman whom he left without the cancer diagnosis assumed that he would leave her having the same symptoms with a cancer diagnosis. He is deeply offended by her being able to think rationally. He is in awe for lying through his teeth in this post. About doctors giving his wife a diagnosis of lazy, about a three or four week time span that was enough for her to be diagnosed with cancer without any prior appointments. OP. She went to a primary care physician, and they drew blood there and sent it to the labs. She told me that he said she was just lazy. She said she was being lazy and a bit burnt out. I made specialist appointments. She refused to go to them because the original doctor said she didn't have depression. She was just lazy, and her blood tests came back normal. Only after we separated did she go to a doctor again. Comments are mixed. But judgment is mainly it. Update. I talked to my wife. I called her and asked if she wanted to talk. She said, okay. When I came over, I noticed that nobody had been over in at least a few weeks. My wife is a clean person, so there wasn't a mess. But it was clear that she was doing it on her own. I apologize for everything. I asked her why she didn't tell me about cancer. 
She said that she felt guilty because she thought we would go through all the effort and find out she was just lazy and I would resent her. Then she thought when we separated that she could just go to a few appointments to show she was physically fine, but try to change on her own to stop being lazy. She found out that she had cancer. She felt really bad because she hadn't gone to any appointments I had made. She felt guilty because she knew I would come back if I knew, and she didn't want me to sacrifice for her when she had dismissed my concerns for years. She sobbed and said that she really felt like she was just being lazy and tired like before. I asked her what she was talking about. A few times during school, she had these intense periods of being really tired and unable to get out of bed. Her parents took her to a doctor, but there was nothing wrong. It wasn't caused by anxiety, and she didn't feel depressed. She was just incredibly physically tired. Her parents and doctor dismissed it as laziness. I don't like her parents. I said it didn't sound like laziness. It sounded like a real medical issue. I'm going to help her figure it out. But to me, it sounded like an autoimmune disease or flare-up. I told her that I always believed her. I believed her when she said she was just lazy after three years of trying to get her to a doctor. And I would have believed her if she had been honest with me and told me about what she went through as a kid. She just kept sobbing. I comforted her. After she cried, I checked her fridge for food. There were only a couple of things in the fridge, including some frozen food I had dropped off before. I asked if she wanted me to go grocery shopping or come over to my apartment for some food. She chose my apartment. I grabbed a few things for her, and I took a laundry basket of dirty clothes to wash. At my apartment, I gave her a bath and cooked dinner for us. She didn't have any clean pajamas, so she wore mine. We had dinner. She just kept saying thank you, and I told her she didn't have to thank me. She's my wife. Of course I'll take care of her through cancer. She said she made me do all of the chores before too, and she didn't want me to go through that again. I told her that she was sick and tired, and I can do everything again if she stays honest with me about how she feels and doesn't dismiss it as her being lazy. We ended up cuddling, and she fell asleep pretty quickly. She's been asleep and awake through today and yesterday. She's been a bit clingy to me, and she looks a lot more comfortable. She's probably going to stay in my apartment, so we'll have to figure out how to break the lease on hers. I'm not going to divorce or abandon her. She needs a lot of support. Comments. Steampun Carly. Damn. Being dismissed and being told, she's just lazy did a real number on her. A poor woman dismisses herself, so no one else does. I'm glad you stuck with her and got her to talk about it. It must have been so difficult for both of you. Hopefully, she'll enter therapy and work through the damage she internalized. Where where Kakako? She was so afraid of being rejected and called lazy that she tried to go through cancer alone. Of her parents, like an idea, and the doctors who shrugged and called her lazy. Uninteresting vagina. People in the OP's original post were calling him a liar because doctors would never do that. Those people should look up how much more women are dismissed when they have actual, real symptoms by doctors who think they're just emotional, lazy, or exaggerating. There is a real effing bias in medicine. Harp. Reddit lost its collective SHT on your last post. But you did nothing wrong and are doing everything right. Good job, dude. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.